Okay guys, as promised, um, I just wanted to show you a couple of games on this uh, Symphonic TV. Um, go ahead and load up my save for uh, God of War 2 here. Great game. I, I missed out on the God of War series uh, the first time around, so I'm actually playing through this game for the first time. Um, one of the best looking PS2 games, it was a very late release on the system, um, and it does support uh, 480 progressive scan. So this is interlaced, is what you're seeing right here. Um, and it looks pretty good on this TV, as, as I said before. Um, you know, it's, it's fairly crisp for a PS2 game. Um, oh, and you can see I'm actually not very good. <laughs> um, we'll restart that and try it again. So like I was saying, it's, it's fairly crisp. I mean, the colors, again, have really impressed me on this TV. And, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's definitely playable for the games that don't support progressive scan. Um, so let's go into the options here with the select button, options. And we have a widescreen option. This is still a 4.3 TV, so we don't need that. Progressive scan, we're going to go ahead and turn on. And yes, we do want to keep that setting because this TV supports it. So, I don't know if the video quality is, is going to do it justice, but you definitely see a pretty big difference when you go to progressive scan. It cleans up the, and again, <laughs> um, it cleans up the edges, definitely makes for a much more crisp and, and good looking image. Um, probably looks, dare I say, even a little better than 480 interlaced is going to look on even a pretty high-end CRT TV, a consumer grade, you know, um, professional video monitors and that kind of stuff excluded. The stuff that we can get at a, um, the, the kind of TVs that you and I can get at a yard sale, 480 interlaced CRTs, uh, it, it may look even a little bit better. So um, definitely a great way to play these games. Now, the other thing to mention too, and something that comes up a lot with these old game systems is input lag. That's kind of been the um, saving grace of the CRT is that they have very, very low input lag. Um, you know, less than <laughs> uh, less than eight milliseconds usually, um, unless they're an HD CRT. Um, which brings me to HD TVs, as you guys probably know. Most of them are upscaling this 480 interlaced or 480 progressive scan, scan signal into 720, 1080, or even the very new ones, 48, um, 4K. And what that interlace, what the uh, upscaling does to, especially an interlaced signal, is it takes some time, and that inputs a lot of times an unplayable level of input lag. Um, which makes keeping one of these type of TVs or an older CRT around worth it. Now I have actually tested this TV for input lag um, using some pretty easy to find components. We have Guitar Hero, Metallica Edition. Almost all, if not all, the Guitar Heroes have some kind of input lag test built into them. Um, just kind of the nature of the game is very unforgiving to input lag. So we'll take that out. We'll throw that in and I'll show you guys how to do an input lag test with your Guitar Hero guitar. Pretty simple. It's not very scientific. Um, but I think it's, it's a great descriptor of how playable Excuse me, a game's going to be on a TV. So bear with me, and we'll run through this real fast. I'll uh, kind of preface this by saying I'm not a huge Guitar Hero fan. I played the games back in the day. I'm not very good at them. So just uh, forgive that while we, uh, while we take a look at this here. Okay, skip through that. That's classic Activision startup logo. Let's see.
All right. So we'll go through a couple menus here. We're looking for the options um, menu selection. Uh, this is probably the first time I've ever put Guitar Hero Metallica into my PS2. I was playing uh, The Ace of Spades by Motorhead a little while back. Uh, great song. Kind of, I, I, I was enjoying that. All right, so you guys have seen, I go to the settings tab. I go to calibrate lag. Okay, so first I'm going to do it in interlaced, which is what this is. I have not set it to progressive scan. Um, in theory, progressive scan should be a little bit better in the lag department um, opposed to interlaced because this is a, an LCD TV. So we're going to do, it should do audio first. Okay, and as you can see, even though I'm terrible at strumming um, when I'm supposed to, <laughs> the audio and the video um, input lag test is zero in 480 interlaced, which is fantastic for an LCD TV. Um, and my assumption is that's because this TV is native at 480 and you're displaying in its native resolution. So let's go back and go to functional options. Progressive scan. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do a quick lag test again. And I think it's going to give us the same result. And again, yeah, zero milliseconds lag um, on both the audio and the video. So this is a, as opposed to a CRT, it's a light, um, inexpensive, kind of safe spacing option, um, safe space saving option um, for a low input lag TV to play some of these older games on, especially the ones that uh, um, output in 480 progressive scan.